Hey everyone, it's Skylar. Welcome back to the channel. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing very well. I know this is like two videos in one day. This is like crazy. Uh, I thought I'd do like this vlog way and just give you like update what's going on with everything. Like during the lockdown period. And yes, iced coffee. I need it. So anyway, mm -hmm. put it in there. Um, as I was like reiterating from today, if you saw today's video, um, I did have a parcel. Um, that was it. What it wasn't in my name. It had my postcode, but a different address. If you get what I mean. So I just said. I said to Pedro, if you don't know who Pedro is, Pedro is my husband. <laughs> I know. I'll explain. If you're wondering why I don't wear a wedding ring, it's because I'm allergic to gold and my wedding ring is gold. So that's the whole top and bottom why I don't wear a, w a wedding ring. I can only wear silver jewellery. So, anyway. Oh, <laughs> he goes to the address and he just hands it next door. And comes back and he goes, that address was dead hard to find. I was like, duh. Why did he post it here? <laughs> I don't know. And then, um, even like, because I'll be honest with you, right? Because I'm always honest with you guys. I have been on this lockdown, but when you have to do stuff for your health and shit like that, you have to do it. And yes, I did colour my hair again. Purple. I know my hair's a mess. I'm going to put some purple conditioner in it to keep the colour lasting this time. Yeah, I paid a fiver for this bottle from Superdrug. Before this whole mess was going on. And it's hard to get the dye online. So I'll have to go and get it from the shop. Bear with me. Oh. And yes, I do own sanit hand sanitizer and all that jazz. Um, it's just this world today. It's just like so crazy, and it's like it's not fair for like people like us, right? That yeah, we are doing it, and I'll be honest, you just a lot of people out there. There's people that I know and. That are absolutely scared of this. Are absolutely scared of what's going on. Like. I'll be honest. I'm scared of what's going on. I don't know what. I don't know what's going to happen. In our futures. Right now. We've just all got to take. Each day as it comes. To be honest. And. If, that's what the reality. We've had to face with. And it's horrible. It's horrible being on lockdown. And I understand, yeah, I'm used to it because there is days and days and days where I have to stay at home anyway because of the pain that I'm in. But it's like all the time. And I will be honest with you, I can only go out when it's absolutely necessary. I still have, this is the thing, I've still got hospital appointments to go to. But the, it's all changed how they've done it. It's weird. It's crazy. You can't all wait in a room. A waiting room. It's mad. A lot of people you've got to... Oh, I found it bad. Even waiting in a queue to go and see my consultant... For them to say good things about me, but that's what you'd have to do. And then I have to go shopping. Because sometimes, right, I'll be honest with you, I'll give Pedro his gym, or give Peter his gym. If I have needed something shopping-wise, he has gone out and got me. He, he has been amazing and he's a good person and... And... 
sometimes I don't know what I can do without them. Because f even through all this, he forgets sometimes that, like, I'm in self-isolation, yet I'm still waiting for parcels, so he has to be in while the parcels come, and he still... Because this is the thing, my OB still works. He does something very important that helps out for people, what they need. So we still work in there. Doesn't work every day, he just works, I'd say, twice, three times a week. Then sometimes it'll be just once a week, then some the next week will be like twice a week. But he still works. So he's still working with the dangers. I always make sure that he now he takes out gloves, he takes he wears a mask and everything. And and he still does our shopping. And yeah, he they're trying to say to him because of his age. He's got to stay at home because we, we're in a big age gap relationship. But and then when we try to explain to people, look, I'm de disabled. I've got to be self-isolated. My husband's the sort of breadwinner. He's still got to go out to work. He's still got to go and do the shopping and that. And like, it's... Horrible. And then when they realise the situation that we're in, that I can't go, I bear, I, I've been out. This is the God's honest truth. Once since the Spanish lockdown begin began. So imagine how many weeks that was. I've been out once. One time. That was because I had to go out. And then I can't go out again for another week and a half because I've got another appointment at a different hospital. And if I don't go, I won't know how I am. And stuff like that. Because of me being in the very, very high vulnerable group, I have to stay in the house. Sounds really mad, but... To look at me, you think I'm fucking healthy as a day. I'm not healthy at all. I just, what I do, I get on with things I have to. I have to get on with everything. And that's what you have to do in life. You can't sit around and move. Yeah, I have to use crutches when I go out. That sneezing, by the way, that's not a cough or anything, just so you know. Uh, so, yeah, I actually only go out when it's necessary because I'm not breaking any rules. And this is the thing. I had to, even though I, I own my own business and I work certain hours, certain days, whatever, I don't work over the amount of hours a week, whatever. Because of my own business. Now, because of what I do, I can't be near anybody either. So that's why I made the decision even before I was scheduled to go away for my birthday that I couldn't do any treatments for, like, for the foreseeable future and yet I'm supposed to be going up because I have to change reschedule my flight for May and the way it's looking now I'm going to find out by the middle of April because they've said in the Spanish lockdown that their lockdowns continue until the 23rd of April now if I find out after the 23rd of April that I can't go on the 6th of May. I will then transfer my... My flight till the end of June. Beginning of July. Because 
That way, it would have ended the three months. And then I can go away. But there's only, technically, for me, I'm on a fair... It's not... Nobody can travel out of the country for 30 days. That's what's being said. And that ends on the 17th. Hang on. 20th, 21st of April. So it's two days before the Spanish lockdown ends. No, I'm full of information. It's only because a lot of my friends, they live in either mainland Spain or the Canary Islands. So... I know, I'm always, like, hearing stuff from them from, like, social media or WhatsApp, whatever. So, I'm knowing stuff. And, like, the news, I'm always treating on the news and stuff like that. So, anyway, we're 11 minutes in, and you've probably been wondering what else I've been up to during this lockdown, like, physically like inside uh what i've been debating whether i've got to take two suitcases with me to if i go to back to spain i know people go why are you thinking about spain and not about the the, the virus and stuff like that i'll explain to you why i'm thinking about this virus and i'm fucking shit scared but if i think about something else it's trying i'm blocking what's got like the talk about this the virus because all i get all the time is coronavirus this coronavirus so i'm trying to like get my mind distracted onto other things so i'm trying to sort of look to the future and go yeah i'm gonna go back to spain soon do i need two suitcases uh maybe maybe i do uh, do I need this? Do I need that? Do I need this? I like my head's like, and then on the other side of things, it's like, oh, what movie shall I watch tonight? And then I go into because um, if you guys don't know, in my house here, um, I have a room upstairs, which is like half a closet room and half just on top of a chest of drawers full of Blu-rays, DVDs. Then across DVDs. Then on the floor in a bag. And then on top of the wardrobes, the other side is just full of movies and stuff like that. And like, I've had people say to me, you've got loads of choice to, to choose from. Like, what film are you going to choose tonight? And I'm, to be honest, I have one idea in my head. Oh, and I've got films over here as well. And I'm like this, I'm thinking... Like, oh, what? Oh, I want to watch this film tonight. And then when it goes to find it, I'm like, where have I put that film? And I'm checking everywhere and I can't find it anywhere. And then I realise it's downstairs. And by the time that happens, I can't be bothered going down the stairs, <laughs> picking the film up and then coming back up. But then I have to pick something else. And then... Because, I'll be honest with you, I have, we'll say, s between 70 and 75% of my movie collection is horror. It is like, but it's like different subject. It's not, I don't have like one type of horror. I, in the horror world you call subgenres of horror, I have like, uh, supernatural I've got a couple of monster f ones I have uh, slashes I have um, oh, what else yeah I've got slashes monsters supernatural zombies because zombies is my favorite I love zombie films I think since I was a kid, because I was brought, my first ever sort of horror film I absolutely watched was a zombie film, so, yeah. And I think it was Return of the Living Dead, <laughs> part two. <laughs> yeah, so. 
sorry I'm back again so I'll have to make this a part two again so anyway my favorite like subgenre of horror is zombie films I love zombie films it's like that's my passion I love zombie films um, and if you guys are new to my channel I will say this my favorite movie it's not I love the return of the living dead movies but there's one zombie film that surpasses that all for me personally and that is zombie flesh eaters aka zombie 2 as in z o m b i 2 <laughs> yeah and that came out in 79 1979 so yeah and then i have like other films that are like we're talking like the horrors like as i said i've got supernatural monsters zombies slash cannibals i have slashes i have video nasties i have giallos i have uh suspense type horror slash thrillers 